The next campaign setting we'll look at is networks. So this setting is pretty specific to video campaign types. You have YouTube search results, YouTube videos, and video partners on the display network. Let's quickly see if the display campaign type has an equivalent. I'll just get to the point and tell you that it doesn't. So understand that this is on the campaign level for the video campaigns, whereas there is no equivalent for a display campaign. Let's take a look at the options here. What do networks do? It tells Google Ads where to place your video ads. If you want your ads to show up on search results, you would check this box. What that means is when somebody searches on youtube.com or performs searches on m.youtube.com, which is their mobile site, your ad could show up for that specific search result. Um, if you don't want that, uncheck it. Now let's notice another thing. When we uncheck that, video partners on the display network is still an option. So let's take a look and see what video display partners are real quick. It's high quality publisher websites and mobile apps. I would definitely take that with a grain of salt. If you are just getting started, you probably don't want to waste money on mobile app, interstitial video shows, or in partner, in stream websites that you really don't know much about. So what I'm saying is it can be risky and the reach is huge, it's massive. So I would be careful not to exhaust your budget. If you're on a strict budget, I would definitely uncheck that at least to start. And plus my results with the Google partners just in general has been not very good. So just be, be aware of that. It's probably best if you're starting out to stick to either this or this. And I wanna show you some examples. So I already showed you a YouTube search result. This is a discovery ad. And notice that discovery ads are, the, that's the only ad type if you choose YouTube search results here. You can only create video discovery ads. Whereas if you choose this option, you can choose in-stream and video discovery ads. So that's basically to say any ads that show up in search results are discovery ads. Now let's go on to YouTube videos. Where can these ads appear? They can appear on YouTube videos. So think about in-stream ads like this one. This one has a companion banner with it. We've seen a lot of those uh, channel pages. Now this one is perplexing. I could not find a really good example. The only way I can think that this would be possible is if somebody used their channel's trailer video and monetized their trailer's video. That's the only thing I can think of. I could not find an example. Everybody online just repeats this phrase over and over, but I don't think they really know what it means. So if you know, if you have a good example about channel pages uh, and video advertisements, let me know. Love to hear that. And then YouTube homepage. And I think what this means is the YouTube app, the mobile app homepage. That's where discovery ads can show. So let's just quickly go over some documentation real quick. Here's, we're gonna go kind of over the same thing. YouTube search results. This is what a discovery ad would look like in YouTube search results, okay? Video watch page. This is a watch page right here. It has a video ad here. And then they also call out um, an overlay in the video, but that's only available to reserve buys. If you click this in video overlay ad, it says in video overlay ads are only available for reservation sponsorship campaigns. They're no longer available for AdWords. So uh, the third one is mobile apps. So YouTube has a mobile app for Android and iOS devices. This is where your video could show up on the mobile apps homepage. And also in search results on the mobile YouTube website. So m.youtube.com, it can show up in search results as a discovery ad, or it can show up as a discovery ad on a watch page. So those are some places where it can show up. Let me just quickly go over, just to be thorough here, uh, we're interested in 
where can the display ads appear? True view, in stream video ads can appear on YouTube watch pages, on videos, on partner sites, and apps in the display network. So, like I said, they can show up on apps, and these are in stream ads. And then for discovery ads, they can appear on YouTube search results, like we saw, alongside related YouTube videos, so like on watch pages, and on the YouTube mobile homepage. So that's kind of what we already saw. So that's validating what we already know. So that is essentially networks. If you are just getting started, I would definitely uncheck video partners on the display network because you don't know what your, where your ad's gonna appear. You don't know if it's even going to be drive conversions for you. So just make sure you uncheck that. And then what I might do is create one campaign that's a YouTube search results campaign only and then make another campaign that's a YouTube videos campaign network only. And that way you can see the difference. Um, that does create two campaigns. However, it might be beneficial to see if you get good results on search results versus YouTube videos, something to test. And also we're gonna go through this a lot more later. So don't have, you don't have to worry about it right now.